Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here on this nice, warm day. It's, it's pretty warm out there. Let me get the date for you. I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous because I am. I am. <laughs> yes, today is um, June the 6th. 2024 what you say and so I wanted to come on through on this beautiful day and to kind of talk to you for a little bit and let you know what's happening I'm working on a lot of administrative things so that I can be prepared you know have proper documentations proper ID proper this proper that you know and have all that kind of stuff stored properly because you know, hey, there's, there's just so many things that can happen and go on and that we cannot control per se, especially when it comes to mother nature, we can't control it. And um, I wanted to come on through and talk about something that I have been attempting to avoid for a while, but it's, uh, it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's an affliction that's destroying so many people. And that's the, that's the, um, that's the, the complexities of politics. Let's talk about politics for now. And let me make it clear on where I stand when it relates to politics. Uh, politics, just like the social media uh, atmosphere, is an entity of its own. And the thing about politics, um, there are so many, so many people that are visiting politics but there's a small majority that belongs okay and that's going to make sense in a minute I um I don't mind necessarily sorry I'm turning my back on you but I'm just trying to get this lighting proper lighting But yeah, let's just talk about politics for a moment and just so I can just let it be. Um, I want to make it very clear and effective when it relates to politics. Politics uh, are a game, okay? And they're, they're a game uh, that most people don't have no idea how to play, but everyone's experts. Okay, everyone's an expert in politics, but no one knows the games that are being played in politics and what necessarily goes on behind the scenes. It doesn't say that I do, but I do proper thinking and it makes sense to me why we have the results we have because I apply proper thinking. Okay, I use different thinking modes to figure out, okay, why do we keep ending, ending up in deja vu, deja vu, with the same caliber of people wanting to um, so-called quote unquote leave this country. And so I've been, you know, kind of engaging with some conversations with people online about everything that's happening. And I may have, I may have put, yeah, I did put out a video a while ago of the dangers of politics. Because it is, it's a dangerous game to play. It's a risky game to play, just like the stock market. Okay, it's no different. It's no different than Ponzi schemes. It's no different than any of those kind of, uh, entities, that, as I said, that that we focus. Some people focus so much time on it, so much of their energy and time on it, and and do not realize they're being destroyed from the inside out because they think they understand the game of politics, and do not understand that there's a lot of smoke and mirrors. There are a lot of show ponies, and there's a lot going on behind the scenes that a lot of people will not ever know. And because they're blinded by their own passion or blinded by their own uh, obsession and more so blinded by their own ignorant behaving uh, personalities, behaving ignorantly. And I'm not calling anybody ignorant. I'm saying that you're behaving ignorantly. You know, the results that we have been getting with so-called politics for as long as I've been living it, it seems to just go over everybody's head 
we always believe, well, you know, in the next four years, you know, this is going to happen. In the next four years, that's going to happen. And then we get upset when it doesn't happen. And it never has happened. Okay, all these promised results that have been, you know, we have been harassed with and threatened with, essentially, have not produced any results. What it has done is uh, um, caused people to lose their lives, caused people to lose their livelihoods, and, and more so caused people to lose their motherfucking consciousness. How about that? A lot of people probably thought I was going to say mine. Hey, you know, you lose your, you damage your consciousness when you behave ignorantly and not recognize signs and paying attention to results. I'm going, you know, I'm having a conversation, like I said, with people online. You know, because a lot of people just like to battle you. They don't, they don't want you to give them results because they don't, that means they will have to work. They just want to battle against you and win brownie points or win followers or win likes. That's what, that's what a lot of people are doing. And it's obvious, okay? And a lot of these politicians are using people to do that for them. They're using people to call and harass people, to target people, to um, um, use, you know, the, the politicians, the skilled ones, the ones that have been around for forever, you know, use people that use other people. You know, it's a trickle effect. Okay, politics is nothing more, nothing less than Ponzi schemes. But no one's going to accept that, you know, because there's too much at, at stake. So instead of understanding what it means to serve humanity, a lot of people want to keep fumbling around with tactics that do not work. All it does is disenfranchise people. It, it causes people to get angrier and more, more willing to be violent because they, they're being bothered and targeted. You know, every four years or every two years about voting, 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 when they know the system is flawed. But no one wants to take the chance to fix it. All they want to do is just talk about and and down and, and um and um slam people for first of all having their own opinion uh theories and opinions okay and 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 believing that people need to pick pick sides pick sides that's garbage and it's harmful and and it's also harmful to the people doing it because they know that they're being manipulated and lying. You know, what are the results? Why are we dealing with the same set of people, you know, year after year after year after year after year? It's a pedigree, okay? It's nepotism, it's favoritism. It's a flawed system. So why can't we fix the system instead of aggravating people about why they need to do this and why they need to do that and get offended and claiming that, okay, this is your right. Yeah, but it's free will as well. We, we keep forgetting that. Just like it's your birthright to evolve your consciousness. Am I running around, you know, calling people and harassing people about doing so? You're going to absorb what you need to absorb based on the energy of your thoughts. Okay? And so, I'm disappointed, but not surprised by a lot of behaviors of people. When is that, when is that time of the year? You know, it's, it's almost... Um, it's, you know, th that time of the year where you know, you know your life is going to be interrupted. You know your life is going to be invaded. You know you're going to be harassed and targeted, getting these unwanted phone calls, these unwanted emails, these unwanted texts about what this person has done for the country, what this person will do to, for the country, blah, 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 blah. It just goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And nothing gets done. Nothing is done. Okay. So, again, I allow people to have their own theories and opinions about things. But you're not going to be invading me and questioning me about why I do this and why I do that. Okay. People have are losing opportunities to have the, 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 the most intimate, interpersonal relationships with people. Because everybody wants to know better than the rest. And everyone thinks that they know what it means to be 
you know, know what it means about patriotism and and uh, this and that and the other. You know, it's just it's um, it's mental gymnastics and it's extremely dangerous to the consciousness. And nobody wants to accept that that's what's the driving force in your life is your consciousness. But everybody is just keeps stepping over it, stepping on it, and and targeting people and harassing them and bothering them because they have their own views and have their own opinions. Nobody wants to listen. Most people just want to be right. They just want you to jump on the band. You know, they just want you to just give money, give money, give money, you know, and, and expect something different. Okay, we were, in the, we were in the same spot that we were four years ago. And everyone's saying, well, you know, you, you know it's because of you. That, you know, and they love to blame people, say, oh, it's because of y'all or because of you. Uh, is why this and that and, and you know and they're not looking at the evidence they're not looking at the results it has nothing to do with the American people actually politics has nothing to do with the American people it has something to do with those in leadership the only people that benefit from politics is those in the leadership of politics okay those are that running around you know pretending that they're getting things done the American people are, are, are constantly being harassed and used, claiming that your vote counts, which is garbage when you look at the current situation that we have. If I, if I vote counted, why, you know, all you have to do is force your way in, scare people, you know, pay them a little bit of money under the table, you know, give them, give them a position or do whatever you need to do. I... Um, my experience in politics started back when I was a young girl and I watched my father year after year after year after year exercise his rights, you know, because it is a right to vote. And he voted and he voted and he voted. But in most cases, he was disappointed. He wasn't so much disappointed with the people. He, was, he knew that there was something going on in the leadership of it. He knew there was something going on in the pyramid of uh, politics. Okay, he wasn't blaming because this person wasn't voting. He knew, because he was thinking probably, that there was something going on with the voting system. Something going on with the, the system of politics. But nobody wants to admit that. We want to keep blaming people. Well, you need to do this. Well, you need to do that. And, you know, it's just a bunch of garbage. A lot of them are self-serving. Okay, they're looking for a position where they can go and then hide and nobody ever sees them again. But yet they live lavishly travel all over the world, you know, while other people are barely able to put food on the table. You know, they, some of these politicians get health care forever. They get housing forever. They get protection forever. Okay? So, and then we we find someone, oh gosh, I don't know if it's courageous or crazy, <laughs> that, that believes that they can make a difference. You know, this one person says something that everybody's running all over the uh, social media, patting them on the back about it. Great job, great job. But then what happens? This person is like a long wolf. You know, they're, they're, they're doing this all. Everybody's expecting everything from one person. You know, any more illogical than expecting one thing from a president. A president, even a vice president, cannot run a country properly. And then we can barely get Congress to pass anything, to do anything. But they, but they live very well. They got some. They got. They, they live very well. Trust. All you gotta do is pay attention to them. So it's a lot of smoke and mirrors, and a lot of people are getting angry because they know that this shit doesn't work. But yet they want to find somebody to blame because they know that at some point they're gonna be struggling to put food on their table. Okay. In the next few years, so many people, I say millions, maybe more than, you know, maybe billions, who knows? It's not really something to be concerned about, but so many people are uh, going to be exposed. The veil is going to be lift, lifted. The rug is going to be pulled from underneath them, and they're not going to have anything. Okay? The offices are empty, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. Okay, you barely go to go to Washington now. I doubt you'll find anybody in any of those offices. They're traveling. They're out of the country. They're going here. They're going there. 
and then and then you got people they have people that they pay who knows what you know to call and harass people about why they ain't voting for this person why they're not voting for this you know and, and it's, it's terrorism political terrorism I know what I'm doing okay and I consider you know the uh, safety and protection of people okay voting in America is a dangerous activity by the way you can be easily targeted and that's what's happened over the course of decades is anyone paying attention to that why we don't have certain leaders leadership here anymore Okay, so a lot of you are delusional, hallucinating, and you are the problem. Okay, you're the problem. It's not the American people. Okay, there's people, like I said, my dad would vote year after year after year. He did what he could do, but he knew better. He knew it wasn't his vote. It's the people in charge, the people in the pyramid leaderships that will not go away. And some people jump on the bandwagon because they're desperate. They need to feed themselves. They need to pay their bills. They need to keep up the facade. Okay? So don't harass me about how I vote, if I vote, and why I vote. That's none of your goddamn business. And I'm sick of it, as, as well as other people are. Okay? And if you don't want to be around me or in my circle or associate with me because of that, then you are so free to go. I'm not going to be uh, holding grudges, resentment, retaliation against no one who cannot accept that whether I vote or not is my own private personal business. Okay, and if you cannot associate with each other because of your, your political affiliation, Okay, that's the serious problem as well. A lot of people are struggling just to have proper interpersonal relationships. But you, when you have this garbage of your ideology, you know, wedged into your brain, any, you know, just as much as a probe, you know, you're improperly thinking and you're causing serious harm to your consciousness. So, you know, hey, keep, keep it going. You know, no, like I said, nobody wants to think about how to improve things to make it safe for people to do uh, their so-called uh, uh, right to vote. Nobody wants to fix that and make it safe and effective for people. No, they just want to call you and harass you, and they're harassing the elderly. I know they are. They always target the elderly. They make them feel guilty and, you know, put it on this blame on them. Like, you know, get up out of your bed, whether you can walk or not. And, and go in there and cast your vote and all this all this um, savagery it's savage behavior that we're afflicting on ourselves so enjoy the game enjoy the game and realize at the end of the day okay you're gonna lose okay you may not lose the votes you may not lose a position but you're gonna lose in your consciousness and that is uh, irreparable once it becomes is damaged and you know and um, uh, it, it, you know the, the, it's just the things that are happening that are just so troubling to me. You know we're destroying good people that really really care about people and really have compassion and concerns about how to make things better. But we cannot do anything when we have the status quo. We have people running around lying about this and lying about that. Okay? So any of you that are believing this delusion about pol politics and thinking you understand the game, you're going to end up a sore loser once you learn the truth. Peace and love. And trust me. I'll be back.